A few days ago, JP Morgan, already America's biggest mega bank, announced it is making a lot of money in this banking crisis as it did in the last one. It went on to warn that there's a lot more bank crashes to come, which presumably it also hopes will be as profitable as the bank crashes so far. JP is now planning to make $84 billion in net interest income, which is up about $10 billion since April, mostly because regional bank failures are sending depositors running by the million to the too-big-to-fail banks like JP Morgan, who enjoy an implicit taxpayer bailout. Of course, that $84 billion is on top of JP Morgan's fire sale buy of First Republic, which was fire sale priced because you, the taxpayer, donated $63 billion. So far, this has been a very good crisis for JP Morgan. Now there are CEOs on TV all but giggling that there's much more to come. Because so far we have only seen Act 1 of what the Fed is planning to do to us, the rate hikes. Act 2 has not even begun. Quantitative tightening. So what is quantitative tightening? It is when a central bank sells stuff instead of buying stuff. So normally if a central bank wants to artificially boost the economy for political reasons, which central banks almost always want to do. It does that by flooding money into the economy. By printing money, it literally types a bunch of zeros on a spreadsheet, and then using those zeros to buy stuff like government bonds or mortgages. This leaves them owning a bunch of bonds, but it pushes new money into the economy, which makes people feel rich. It also makes loans cheap, so even really stupid businesses can get money, like Pets.com, WeWork, or Beyond Meat. Of course, printing money makes inflation. So central bankers will try to cancel it by doing the opposite, selling all that stuff they bought quantitative tightening. So they sell a government bond for a million dollars. They take that million and cancel it. They delete the zeros. It's the money printer in reverse. The problem is that's all in theory. The two times they actually tried doing it in 2013 and 2019, it failed spectacularly, causing never before seen spikes in interbank loans and treasury markets. So both times they quickly gave up. In other words, going by actual experience, printing money is like salting dinner. It is easy to add, it is very hard to take away. The thing is, this time they cannot give up because they are out of options. The Fed can see the economy is turning, it knows it cannot hike into a crash, but inflation is not going anywhere, meaning they have to tighten and pray it doesn't break too much this time. So nobody knows what breaks first or how bad, but between Morgan's giggling and the Fed's track record, in all likelihood there's going to be a lot more banks and who knows what else on Wall Street's menu, each in all likelihood with a generous bailout signed by you. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.